Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'll be talking about my makeup collection and right now my camera is face down on the black table which is why the screen is black because well you see I was going to do an intro and I was wearing this stunning pink eyeshadow look today but then right before filming I saw I had a pink streak across my left pointer finger which meant that I rubbed my eyes and let me just show you look at that that means my eyeshadow's gone so yeah I rubbed it really hard <laughs> and the primer didn't work so yep anyway here's a quick overview of my entire makeup collection if you'll notice I don't have any foundation or concealer and the main reason for that is because I tan way too quick in the summer and then when winter comes and I'm inside all the time I become pale really quick too so that constant like adjusting doesn't sit well with my wallet and I don't want to like spend every morning mixing shades to get the perfect shade so I just gave up and I think that's been working for me so yeah I'm gonna get started and I tried to order this in the categories where I would have purchased or applied it to my face myself. But that's not quite how this is laid out, so yeah. I'm just going to start with primers. So I have five primers, and two of them are face primers, and three of them are eyeshadow primers. And as you can see, those two are both deluxe size samples, and I think this number is pretty good because... Well, I'm definitely going to run out of primer before the end of this project. Except for the eyeshadow primer because eyeshadow primer just lasts for forever. So yeah, I'm going to have to resort to using other methods like maybe sunscreen as primer from the day I run out. Moving on to eyebrow products. I have six like eyebrow pencils two tinted brow gels and they're both taupe so they don't match my hair color right now and then I have one clear brow gel and one eyebrow tint so the color on the eyebrow tint is actually the color of my hair right now so if you look around um, there's actually not that many products here that match my hair color right now and that's because I purchased a good chunk of them before I dyed my hair so now I have dyed hair and new products, which is why this number is so high. Normally it's only two or three, but yeah, I came back from Asia with dyed hair and new products. So I'm good with this number because as soon as I'm on like a no buy, I'm going to see this stash like shrink dramatically. I think within three months, I'll have like... At least two pencils gone maybe three so that's already half the pencils gone yikes I don't know what I'm gonna do then because my hair will still be brassy brown but when we get to it we'll get to it moving on to eyeliners I have five liquid liners and no this one's black and this one is brown so five liquid liners, one pencil liner, and one gel liner. I think this number is fine because, again, I'm going to go through them really quick. So I normally use eyeliners until they don't work as well anymore. And I'm generally patient, but the moment I try to draw a wing and it doesn't draw or... It comes out faded and then draw another line on top and it removes the one on the bottom that's when I get annoyed and toss it because at that point I've probably put up with it for like a month too long moving on to mascaras I have five only one of them is open at the moment don't worry the other one I just took out of its packaging because it was super bulky it was this one and it had the biggest packaging it was like bigger than this one uh, which I found ridiculous so I just Took it out of this packaging and i'm good with this number because th this is my holy grail mascara and 
it's actually quite expensive to get here in the US. So whenever I go to Asia, I stock up on these. And okay, last time I went to Japan was the first time I really got to try this because it was like recommended by a friend and many articles online. And then I fell in love with it, went through two of them, bought one in the US, which is actually this one. And then when I went to Korea, I bought four more. So yeah, obviously I'm good with that number. But when I went to Korea, I didn't know I was going to be on a Nogai. And I don't think I would have purchased any more than I have now just because I don't want them to dry up. So I think this is good. And I'll only really replace these when they don't perform as well anymore, which this one is starting to dry up. Okay, moving on to setting sprays. I have three and they're all the same. <laughs> it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And as you can see, I buy it in the two pack, except I won't be buying it this year because it's August. I've only used up one bottle and, well, this one's not exactly full. I would say it's like a quarter down, but obviously this is going to last me quite some time. So I'm not going to be repurchasing another pack until the next holiday season. At least, you know. <laughs> and then, this is a new category for me. I have a blotting powder, and I actually waited to do this video until... Oh, well, I waited until I got this product because... And another one because... Yeah. Then, this is, like, official. I'm not getting anything new. Like, I don't have any orders coming in. And I purchased this last week before my no white started because I wanted to have it on hand. I have a really oily T-zone, and I'm really hoping that this will help. And it needs to last at least two years. Okay, moving on to my cheek products. I always apply blush first, and I have four blushes between those three, uh, like, palettes and singles. And one of them is a cream blush, and the other three are powder blushes. Honestly, I like the look of cream blush more than powder, but powder is... It's also because these are high-end, <laughs> and that is e.l.f., so e.l.f. is much more pigmented and less forgiving on your cheeks if you apply it way too much, so I feel like there were a lot of days where I looked like a clown, and yeah, so I think I prefer powder for now. For bronzers, I have eight, and um, out of these, only, only one of them is cream, which again is in the same e.l.f. palette. And for bronzers, I think that's an okay number because I am pretty good at putting dents in bronzers. However, if you ask me to finish a bronzer, I, I would probably take triple as long, to be honest. And yeah, so... Most of my bronzers are a bit lighter, so I think for bronzers we're good, and it's not something like a huge, like I'm not crazy over cheek products like I'm crazy over eyeshadow or lipstick products, or lip products as you can see to the right. Okay, moving on to highlighters, I have eight and two of them are not powder so this is liquid and this is cream so i think this is a good number because i used to go through bronzers or sorry i used to go through highlighters like crazy i would go through about two to three a year and now i have eight which means it will last me quite some time well it really depends because i don't use that for like as a highlighter i use it more as like for baking. Anyway, so I think 8 is good for highlighters uh, just because I like to have a variety and I have these two which are like darker and then there's two in there that are very light and things like that and everything else is like in between so it's a good mix and I'm finding that I do prefer more natural highlights like if there's glitter in it I don't really like it so yeah. If you guys have seen before I used to have a highlighter palette but um, I got rid of it recently because it was breaking me out <laughs> where I would apply it like on the tops of my cheeks and near my eye but not like on my eye and I have like these 
tiny little bumps all around and it's just like in the perfect area where I was applying the highlighter so I just chucked it. Actually, I scraped it all out and put it in a jar to make body lava with. So yeah, I no longer have it as a face highlight. Okay, and now we get into the lip products. As you can see, I have a lot of products that are still in their original packaging, and I counted because this is the second time I filmed this video, so I know the numbers a lot better. I have 11 unopened products and 11 open products, and I think you can see a trend here, right? <laughs> I like pinks and reds. A little bit of coral, but not really. So yeah, this was the second product that I was waiting for. This is a Fenty Gloss Balm, and yeah, I can't wait to try it, but I need to get through these first. And I don't have a problem with getting through ColourPop lip glosses. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I currently have eczema on my lips. It's the most annoying thing, and I always have to have some type of lip product on my lips, unless I'm in like a shower or I have water running over it because it's just really painful and irritating if I don't. So yeah, that sucks and so I have a lot of lip products. But I've been finding that Aquaphor has really helped with like curing it at night. But I cannot skip a day of wearing lip products because I did it once and oh my god, it was so painful. Okay. So yeah, obviously I think this number is way too high, especially since I have three lip tints that are unopened and lip tints are like things you apply once a day and you're done with it. These things come off really easily, so that's how I'm able to get through one. If I like really wanted to, I could get through one in three weeks. I just stopped myself once from using my favorite shade up in three weeks, so that's how I know. But yes, looking forward to shrinking this number. Okay, and now onto eyeshadows. From doing Project Pan for like almost a full year, I've learned how bad I am at finishing eyeshadows. So I have six eyeshadow palettes. Uh, that's unopened. This is also untouched, just to give you an idea. And this is like a custom palette and everything else has been opened and this is definitely more than last time oh and plus i got these two so this is a loose eyeshadow powder and then this one is just a single because i really like yellow and this yeah is yellow as you can tell i'm going to try to talk over my neighbors but just ignore them so yeah i could really use a lot of <laughs> Hope in this category I'm like I definitely don't need to buy any more eyeshadow for next year and I've kind of learned my lesson with like Colourpop singles I mean some of them are really nice but then others that I thought would look good on me just look gross so this is everything and I'm hoping to see major pan and this stash shrink like crazy by the time I graduate. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!